Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how I rewrapped a cheap bookcase with reclaimed wood and turned it into something really special. So check this out. This is a really cool project. Alright, check out this bookshelf I just picked up not too long ago off of Craigslist. I saw it listed and it was only five bucks. And the guy told me it was real wood, so I went ahead and checked it out. When I showed up, I had this really weird, I thought this was like a veneer or something, but now that I'm looking at it, I believe this actually is real wood with just a really cheesy faux paint job. And it's kind of rough, so I need to smooth it out. And I think I'm just gonna do kind of a quick flip on this. So the outside, I wanna paint, and I have a really cool green that I picked up really cheap at Menards in their oop section. So I'll paint the outside green, uh, probably the inside of the walls as well, but then the back wall I wanna do in white. And then for the shelves, since they're so rough, they have like, I don't know what happened. It looked like they had something glued in there and they tore it out. And then the bottom ones here, you can see there was this little feature here. I bet it was some type of bracket that was just cut out. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is actually cover those in plywood planks. It's uh, leftover pieces I have from when we did our floors. So it'll be covered just with a solid piece of uh, plywood plank here, and then I'll put a little short stubby piece of real wood up front to kind of face it. I think that'll look really nice. And then I'll also build some legs on it. Right now I just have it on some furniture movers I built. But uh, I'll probably build some legs. So it stands about that high, maybe about five or six inches off the ground. And I'll build them kind of like the uh, two by three bench I built a while back. Do something like that. So anyway, this should be kind of a quick flip. Like I said, it's only five bucks. It's probably not gonna be a, a, you know, a hot seller. But uh, I could probably do 50 bucks on it or something like that. I think it'd be kind of a fun project. So anyway, let's see how this thing turns out. It should be pretty cool. Alrighty, so I got it all painted now, and I decided that since it's just a $5 bookcase that I don't want to spend the time to tape the inside to paint the edges green, so I just sprayed the whole thing white. It actually looks pretty good. So now what I got to do is work on wrapping the shelves with plywood, so I'm going to go out and do that next. All right, check it out. It's looking really nice now. Got the green plain off of the wood trim and then all the wood inside plain off the white. Looks really nice. So now the last thing I gotta do is just flip the whole thing upside down and I'm gonna build some really simple legs for it. So I'll do that next. All right, so to build the legs, I've been going back and forth with some different ideas. I think I come up with a really cool idea. All right, down in the basement, I have all these like weird shaped scraps and I've been wanting to figure out a way to use them, and I think a leg like this would work really well. So I'll have to rip them down, make them a little more uniform, and sand them and all that kind of stuff. But basically, I'll have a base piece here that's, or I should probably mention this too, I drew lines that are one inch in from the outside of this, all right? So I'll line it up to those lines, and then I'll have a second piece that'll be the outer border here, okay? So basically, I just have an L shape, and I can use some pocket screws just to hold them together nice and tight, along with some glue. It should hold really nice. All right, then for the actual leg part, I'll cut an angle. I think this is a 45, which is too much. I'll probably go with a 10 degree. And then it will be 
attached to the front just like that but of course it would be a different angle. I think that would be really simple and I can probably just use pocket screws and glue to hold it as well. So basically we have this piece as a nice support to keep it from wiggling that way and then of course it will be nice and tight that way. Then this will be a whole unit, it will have two legs sticking on it and then I can actually just screw it to the bottom of the dresser. So this could be a cool little leg design that I could use for other projects as well. So I'll go ahead and build it and uh, once it's done you'll, you'll probably see better what I mean. Alright, and check it out. Here it is all finished. Turned out really cool. Got this really nice kind of guacamole green on the outside. And then I just sprayed the inside, the gloss white, which looks really nice. And then of course the uh, plywood wrap shells with the uh, solid wood face plates on them. Makes them look a lot more substantial. And then of course I also trimmed it out everywhere with the, uh, the wood too. I thought that would add a little extra uh, design to it. It looks pretty nice. And then of course there's how the scrap wood table legs turned out and those are pretty cool too. They have just a slight 10 degree angle to them. Gives it a little bit of a mid-century flavor, but it turned out pretty cool. Now of course this was a, kind of a, a lot of work to put into a little $5 bookcase, but it turned out pretty awesome. And I think I might actually copy this design and just build one for myself out of like some 2x12s. Just make a solid wood frame, put some shelves in there, and then do those legs again. Because I really like how this turned out. Pretty cool little bookcase.